You ready, bro? Come on. He's like, uh, no. Let's do it, boy. Let's do it. <laughs> I think Bello's tired. He's been running a lot this week. Good job, Bello. Good job. Look at that stride. Look at that little puppy stride. So for today's workout, we're going to be doing a bit of a deload. So we're going to start off with some deadlifts, going for more volume than lifting super heavy. We're literally just going to train some shoulders and abs, taking it easy, not doing cheat and recover, just focusing on volume and perfect form. And I'm just working my way up right here to my working weight, which is going to be actually 365. And we're going to do 365 for six sets of eight repetitions. Now for me, 365, that's pretty good working weight for eight reps for me. I'm not pushing myself to the absolute max, but I'm not going so light where it's not doing anything for me either. And one of my biggest things when I do my deloads, guys, especially when I do an exercise like a deadlift, it's a lot. Of, it's good time for me to work on my form. As you can see, I'm not using a belt and I'm making sure that my back isn't being arched whatsoever on any of my repetitions. And then I actually had a really good idea because Joe needed some help with his form to actually do four sets of eight reps of a deficit deadlift with lightweight. As you can see, I'm just using 225. But on the deficit deadlift, this is an exercise that will really help you engage your glutes and hamstrings together to give you the maximum pushing power. So if you're having a hard time with engaging your glutes and hamstrings or if your hips are shooting up too quick on deadlifts, try doing some deficits. It'll really change the game for you. Then as soon as we're done, we went over to the seated lateral raise, doing five sets of 10 repetitions. Again, we're going higher in the repetitions because we're not trying to, to kill ourselves here. We're just trying to get a good workout. And as you guys can see, the muscle engagement is great on this exercise. And the reason why I'm sitting is because I'm trying, like I said, to use zero momentum and when you're sitting in a seat doing a lateral raise, you really can't cheat on this exercise. It'd be really hard to do so because you can't swing your arms up and down or bounce with your feet. And then we took that same um, thinking process and went over to the incline rear raise. So again, we're not able to use any momentum and we're going to lay on the bench and then utilize laying on the bench to help keep ourselves in one position so that as we raise the weight, we have to lift the dumbbells out and away from our body and really feel those rear deltoids engage throughout the movement. If you've never done a rear raise on a bench, guys, it's an awkward feeling at first because it, it feels like you're almost not even moving the weight at all when you're doing it. But as you can see, I mean, it's a great exercise. And then we wanted to obviously hit all three heads of the deltoids, so we finished off with a cable front raise. If you've never done a cable front raise before, it's actually a really good way to switch things up because you're going to have constant tension throughout the entire range of motion. Even when the, the bar is over your head, the cable is still pulling down due to obviously the placement of it on the floor. So you're getting constant tension throughout the entire range of motion and obviously it's it's, it's not an easy exercise to do because they're small muscle groups. So if you're using weight that's way too heavy, you're going to end up using a lot of momentum and bouncing in order to lift that weight up. But don't make it so light that you can't push yourself. Now, like I said, we were doing deload, so I thought it would be great to use a cable machine so that I would not rely on any momentum like I did when I was using the barbell in the last video. So really cool exercise to try out. And then to wrap up the workout, I wanted to do a bit more ab work, so I did five sets of 15 repetitions of a leg raise. Now, as you guys can see when I do these, I'm trying to get my feet above my head. So I'm trying to get my feet as high as possible in every single repetition. And then when I get to the bottom of the movement, I'm making sure that I'm bringing my legs all the way down and getting, getting a bit of uh, lower back extension so that I can actually feel the stretch in my abs. Really great exercise here, guys. That's it for today's workout, guys. To be honest with you, Joe and I haven't really done any deloading for the past four weeks. We've been training extremely hard. For those of you who have tried my Cheat and Recover program, you know that it's very labor intensive. It's very taxing on the central nervous system. So. I wouldn't say that I was crashing this week, but we, we hit chest super hard on Monday. I actually got up to 115s on my, on my dumbbell press, which I haven't done in a while, and I was doing basically five reps on my own, and then Joe would help me for the last three, so we'd do like a modified cheat and recover. Even Joe's up to hundies, which he hasn't been there in a while. He's over there like, whoop, whoop. So I think we learned our lesson. Like, yeah, we're so excited. We're lifting heavier. We're getting stronger but pay attention, make sure you get those deload weeks in too. The program does talk about deload weeks. 
I think, I think we just, we just, we just been in it so much. We just were like, let's just keep lifting heavy. And then we paid for it today. <laughs> and kind of yesterday too, not gonna lie. But it is what it is. Keep making those natty gains. Well, now that I'm done at the gym, I gotta go to the dentist. I have to get a filling fixed, which is always fun. Man, today's just one of those days where there's a lot of stuff to do and not enough time. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. Sexy. So apparently I have a filling that fell out a little bit over here and then like a topical thing over here. I mean, I brush and floss, but I was just told it happens sometimes. So I have a mouth full of needles, Novocaine right now. So I'm like numb all here. Well, that's good because I don't want to feel anything. So I was in and out of there in like 15 minutes. It wasn't that bad. It was like some surface things you just had to take care of. But it was one of those dentist days where the it wasn't the numbness didn't quite kick in yet and i could feel like the root it was super sensitive obviously the drilling and all that crap and now that i'm in the car it's like the numbness has totally kicked in and now i can't feel anything like you could probably see the way i'm talking right now like this whole side of my face is like kind of droopy or whatever i don't even know oh it was like i was like clenching my fist because it was one little spot it was a top tooth up here and she'd be like and it was just like, you know, that, that sensitive sensation kicks in and it like shoots through your whole body. At least, at least it's over with now. I can eat some food, which I'm happy about. Uh, I just hope I don't bite my tongue. <laughs> right now I'm about 30 or 40 feet up in this tree in my yard. We had a really bad winter with a lot of snow, a lot of crazy wind, and I have like a lot of tree branches that are broken and falling. It kind of looks like crap, so I'm up here just cutting down this branch because it's hanging down real low and it's causing all the other branches to hang low. It doesn't look good, so we're fixing it. And I'm not gonna lie, I like climbing trees and being really high up in the air. There, see, now all the branches are the same height. And don't even ask how long this pile's been here. Ain't nobody wanna deal with that. All right guys, seeing that mess on camera kind of bothered me, so I decided to clean some of it up. It's not all done, but it's a start. This is what I got for my godson for his baptism. It's a cross and necklace from Tiffany's. It's different style cross too, I really like it. And so I wanted to make it special, so I'm gonna go to the mall right now and then get his initials engraved on it and my initials as well, so he always knows it's from his favorite godfather that he only has one of. Oh, <laughs> his favorite be... uncle, but only godfather. <laughs> you'll be bonded for life, babe. For life! You'd be good, okay? Erica has meetings for work, so during the day, if I go anywhere, I gotta take Bello, or else he just freaks out and barks the whole time I'm gone. I'm trying to trying to fix his separation anxiety. He's getting better, but it's a it's tough with small dogs. So we decided we're gonna do G A H with a heart, and then my initials S E H, and it's gonna go vertically down. It's gonna look really cool. So she said it'd take about an hour, so we'll see how it looks in an hour. I was walking around the mall and these creeps stopped me to say hi. Peace. <laughs> this guy's the shit. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things. I like going going out, meeting people, and meeting the subs. Yep. About how to build muscle and lose fat. And he's doing too much cardio. What's Put, going on, man? Putting me on the spot. He's asking me about if true if mass gainers are good. I asked him what his macros were. And he didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's on the spot. So he doesn't know what to say. Cut. 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 <laughs> Don't worry guys, so this is Matt. I, I yeah. just I had a nice hot to hot with Matt. We're gonna get him on the right track. <laughs> on the right track and we're gonna get him on cheat and recover. He's gonna be extra yeah. jacked. It's done, check it out guys. You can see all the initials. Oh, it's an extra G A H S E H a little heart in between. And my sexy calluses. Today is my godson's oh, hold on. <laughs> Today is my godson's <laughs> baptism. I almost said graduation. He's not even six months yet. <laughs> I got him a nice little gift. You guys already know what it is, but he doesn't. And he's not gonna really know what it is for a few years. <laughs> this is the church. It's like snow raining right now. It's kind of stinks, but hopefully it'll clear up. Very good. Nice suit. There we go. Thanks. He's so bouncy. You are blessed today. Yeah, are you blessed? <laughs> okay. George, we 
nobly in their lives. You know how we all use words perhaps we shouldn't? So we bless their lips and bless their ears that they may hear the word of God and sing it. Now we say a little prayer for the fuck. This is my sister Cassandra. That's yeah. sister, I mean, not you. I actually have two sisters. So that's it, we baptized Georgie. Now we're gonna go get some food and play with him a lot, because he's a lot of fun to play with. Oh, you feel like a daddy now, babe? I am, I am a father. You are, I you're responsible now. You know what you are? What? Old. Oh. <laughs> that too, Cassandra. <laughs> My hey, color. you be quiet and enjoy your present. You probably like that, it's red. Did you go and give it hey, a you stand then. Oh, yep. Georgie. There you go. Now you're gonna be super pimping. How's that taste? Oh, does that taste Look good? It's his most expensive, is this most expensive <laughs> gift. There you go, 75 cents is all it took to make you happy. Oh my God, I cannot You wanna play with the summer. cars or just eat the box? Okay. Little hero, it's got police <laughs> on it. You gonna just eat the box? <laughs> yum, 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 yum. <laughs> oh. You like your cars, Georgie? Nope. <laughs> get it, Georgie, get it. Claire, you can see them. <laughs> what do I get for this? Can't say it on video. <laughs> Squawk much? <laughs> Are you okay? I don't know, it's Charlie's toy. Check it out, another movie just arrived in the mail. I actually haven't seen this one yet. It's called The Commuter. I mean, Liam Nielsen, pretty much any movie he's in is usually pretty good, especially if it's suspense, so we'll give it a shot. I wasn't kidding, guys. I have a movie addiction. I buy at least one a week. Just gotta add, keep adding to the collection. Here's an interesting fact for you guys. Erica is actually really good at mini golf, even though she absolutely hates it. She beat me and Crystal. She actually, like, two or three hole-in-ones. It was ridiculous. Speaking of that, I want a rematch. It's been a while. For today's photo, Erica wanted me to go for like the, I'm really cool with a leather jacket and button down shirt with my shirt open look. Is that about right? That's about right. Yeah, fix it up like that. Yeah. Where's the baby oil? Ah, baby look like such a tool. <laughs> You're making me, see, you're making me look like this because you want me to do this. <laughs> yeah, I know. But babe, two is good. Two, two gets likes. That's right. Well, if you guys want to see the, the, what the picture actually looks like when I'm posing, go to my Instagram. You'll see it there. <laughs> I decided to take the family to my favorite restaurant, TGI Fridays. I know, very expensive date. Me and Erica actually went to Fridays on our second date. I'm not sure if she's too happy about that, but that's where we were. We were... But it was, it was TGI Fridays in New York City. So oh, wow. it was a little bit more epic. Right. <laughs> I was like, why are we going to Fridays? Because it's my favorite restaurant. Now I have to film more. Yeah, Look, the drink menu only has two pages. I sound like a man. It's because you are a man. I am a man. Crystal just needs. Love and kisses. Oh, no, I need to feel better. You feel better now. No. This is blue drink. <laughs> Waited, I thought it was funny too. And then that's why Scott always drinks, always. If you guys ever want to get a delicious drink when you go out, get a Grateful Dead. They're amazing. Oh, really? What is in it? I don't know. Chicken. A lot of different liquors. A lot of different things. But if you Google it, it'll tell you. <laughs> Getting ice on my pants. This is my favorite appetizer. Sesame seed, Jack Daniels chicken strips. I'm gonna teach you guys my trick. Once that's gone, you take the Jack Daniels sauce, and then you use it instead of the salsa, and it tastes way better on them chips. Oh yeah. The food has arrived, guys. Check out my meal. Look, oh, look at that. The broccoli, sweet potato fries, and a rack of ribs. This is what I consider a cheat meal, which isn't really a cheat. It's actually delicious. I didn't, just didn't have to cook it. Or Erica. Erica didn't have to cook it either. Well, you should learn this recipe so you can cook it at home. <laughs> Erica got a nice salad with bacon and steak and cheese. Crystal got a quesadilla. Is that guac right there? 
Well, if you don't want it, you give it to me. Yes! Hey, yoink! Look, somebody got a haircut today! Yeah, Bello, looking sharp, bro! High five! Yeah, look at that, look at that, good puppy! Oh yeah, ready to go outside? Ready to go outside? The family and I just got back from Fridays. Actually, just letting Bello out so we can go do his poops and peas before bed. But you know what, guys? Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, I guess from my vlogs, it looks like I go out to eat all the time. Um, I guess we kind of do. We try to go out to eat like once or twice a week. And for us, it's like it's a good time to get out of the house and just connect and chat as a family. We try to like put our phones away. Granted, obviously vlogging doesn't really help with that, but <laughs> you know, it's a good time for us to kind of get out and connect. And you guys, you have to make sure you're doing that with your friends and family when you're going out. Like, just try to disconnect from everything, disconnect from TV, disconnect from your phones, and just you just talk. Like, talk about what's going on, talk about your lives, just you know, whatever whatever you get something to talk about, just talk about it. You know, and, and make sure you're you're building those strong relationships, whether it's with friends or family. So hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Definitely more coming. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. I'll see you guys later.